it going everyone into the lego detective back again with another bakugan battle planet review and this is going to be on a five pack now no one else from my knowledge no one else has found the five packs in stores or at least no one else has found them and shared it on the internet or shared it in some form of media and yeah this is pretty exciting the only five pack that's been on youtube was one of the ones reviewed by kimbo slice and I actually do have that one, but I wanted to review this one first because no one's reviewed it yet on YouTube. And I don't think that anyone knows the B-Power of these Bakugan yet either. But this is the uh, Darkest Hydorus Ultra and Auralis Garganoid Ultra 5-pack. How these 5-packs work, you get the 5 Bakugan, of course. The Ultra Bakugan are kind of shown in the front, and it doesn't tell you what any of these other Bakugan are. Hint, if you look on Amazon, you can find them out, but if you guys want to know the B-Powers of these Bakugan and see all the cards that you get and the cores that you get, this is definitely going to be the video to do that. And I'm really excited because this Hydorus Ultra has 800 B-Power, and I've heard that the Evo of it is not too good, but that's just a crazy starting B-Power, especially in the beginning of the game. I believe that that's the highest B-Power on any Bakugan battle planet that I've seen. So on the top, uh, become the ultimate Bakugan master. Just gonna make this a bit lower. So yeah, you can see 10 Baku cores, because you get two for each Bakugan. Uh, obviously, you get the main cast on the side. Uh, start your Bakugan collection. On the back, you have some really cool photos of the three Bakugan closed up in their, the core Bakugan, and then the two Ultras, and yeah, you've got the Auralis Garganoid and Darkest Hydorus Ultra. So I'm just gonna bust this thing out of the package, and I'll be right back to you in a minute. Alrighty, and that took me a while to get all those Bakugan out, especially the core ones which are in the ball form. It's really tricky to get them out of that package, but you know, I guess that that's good because it'll also be really hard for people to steal them from the stores. Nonetheless, we have Auralis Garganoid, Darkest Hydorus Ultra, Ventus Dragonoid, Pyrus Trox, and Aquos Fangzor. So let's get started, uh, starting with Auralis Garganoid. And here is Aurelis Garganoid, and let me just say, folding this thing up took such a long time. This is probably the most complex Bakugan I've ever seen. So first of all, being a Bakugan Ultra, it's not completely round. You have some little dips right there, and you have uh, little extrusions. I'm not really sure what the point of this one is there, but I guess it could help stabilize it a bit. So yeah, the Bakugan Ultra are pretty much meant to roll straight, and if I can find it, there we go. There's a little indent right there with an arrow to help you roll it forward. So yeah, he looks really cool. I love the gunmetal. The silver looks really great, and the gold looks great. This is my first Auralis Bakugan, at least out of the box. I have a few others, which are still in, like, uh, five, another five-pack, uh, single-packs, triple-packs, but this is the first one that I've had in my hand, and I can say I really like it. So... Let's roll him onto a card. Alright, so I got a Baku core in front of me, and let's see if I can land him on the Baku core. Whoa! So, that was the first time I actually saw him pop open. Uh, where's the magnet? I, is it on the tail? Yeah, it's on the tail, so that's really cool. Because these guys, they come open in the package, so I literally just closed him up, and I didn't want to open it. So, that's really cool. So, as you can see... Obviously, he has that gargoyle look. He's kind of in that stance, like, crouching down with the four legs. And this thing is so cool. He got the head right there. 700 B-Power, which is really great. We'll look at his card later. The insides of the wings are painted silver, which is also really great. Overall, on mine, the paint job is really good, at least from what I can see. He has this huge tail, which... This is a super strong spring, especially this last piece. That is really, really strong. So I'm just going to try to fold them up real quick, just for the laughs. Uh, there's a tutorial on the uh, Bakugan Battle Planet uh, YouTube channel, so check that out, I guess. As you can see, everything is just popping out. I believe you put the wing in next, and I think that we got it. Uh, <laughs> come on. And, almost, there we go. Oh, maybe not. Yep, we failed. Come on, come on, get in. There we, I can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool. He completely flips over, and this is a really, really cool looking Bakugan. So here is Darkest Hydorus Ultra, and this is probably the smoothest Ultra Bakugan. He has nearly nothing sticking off of him, and he looks really good in this ball form. I really love the green, obviously. You can tell that's the arrow right there. Uh, well, actually, never mind. You're supposed to roll it this way. But I guess that if you wanted to roll it the other way, you could just use this. But 
yeah, you can kind of see his head right there. And this one was pretty, uh, pretty tricky to close up as well. Because you kind of need to push everything into each other at the same time. So, let me just adjust this. And we can miss. Come on. There we go. And I think I rolled it the wrong way. He didn't really flip over. I guess I rolled it the wrong way. But he actually picks it up with his head. You got the big face that comes out and the spring-loaded little claws at the bottom. Really cool looking. 800 B power. That's insane. If you guys have any Battle Planet Bakugan with over 800 or just 800, please tell me. Because if so, I need to get that Bakugan quickly. Uh, you have the big tail in the back, which... It's kind of a bit fiddly, especially when you're folding it up. It's really annoying. Uh, then you have the feet, which fold out the back as well. But he just kind of stands like that and picks up the Baku core on his head, which I think is very, very cool. Next up is Ventus Dragonoid, and this one looks really cool. I already have the Aquos Dragonoid. Let me get him. There he is. And I have a few other Dragonoids. Completely unintentionally, I got nearly every Dragonoid that's out right now. I think that the only one that I'm missing is the normal Pyrus one and the Chaos one, but I'm not even sure if there's a Chaos one uh, that's available right now, if they've even made one, but let's pop him open, and there he is. I didn't think to uh, roll him, but yeah, pretty cool looking. 200 B power, so not the best, but you know, if they have low B power, you can expect that they'll have low damage, and I haven't taken a look at the cards, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see what the card looks like uh, later. There we go. And I really like how even some of the core Bakugan sort of jump when they land on a card or a Baku core. Next up, we have yet again another Bakugan from the Awesome Ones. This is Trox in Pyrus. And this one's pretty cool. I really like these little circles right there because they really remind me of Helios Mark II with the big circles on his wings. So I really like that. But Trox is a dinosaur. Let's roll him onto the card and fail miserably. Uh, come on. Just gonna bring this down a little bit. Alright. This is my first time actually shooting him onto a car. There we go. Uh, I've heard from some people that doing spin shots with him or side spin shots like Munikis from Bakutech is actually very effective and it really is. Manual parts are these little uh, claws and he's just so cute. He looks like a little baby dinosaur that just hatched out of his egg. <laughs> Uh, he's got the head, he's got the claws, the feet, so to fold them up, fold in the manual parts, fold in the feet, uh, 500B as well, so that's pretty cool. Close that piece, and then close the head most of the way, but then you kind of have to hook in the tail, and then lock it in, and there we go. That is pretty much it for Trox. And the final Bakugan in the set is an absolute legend, Aquos Fangzor. And the reason he's an absolute legend is because his evolution, Hyper Fangzor, lets you draw three cards. And that is just insane. Yes, your life, uh, your, your deck is your life, but that's essentially Pot of Greed plus one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he looks really cool on the outside. He's a very, very round Bakugan. And there he is, 600B, so pretty good. And I just... His design's really cool, and I can definitely imagine, like, look at that, when he, when he's right there, he's blocking pretty much two more Baku cores that were right there. So depending on the way that you shoot him, you could actually block your opponent's Baku cores, which is pretty cool. To fold him up, you're just gonna push in the head, you got some nice details beneath that. Push up the tail, and then pretty much clip everything together. And where did I put that Baku core? I don't even know, so I'll just grab another one that I have over here. Oh, come on. gonna roll him on there we go and yeah he really jumps out at you and i quite like it all right so let's look at the cards that we get i'm not gonna go into them super into detail because this is gonna be a longer review but here is the ventus dragonoid card 200b and four damage garganoid ultra three damage 700b this one's looking really cool hydorus ultra 800b and one damage Trox, 500B and 1 damage. Oh, that's not a character card. And Fangzor with 600B and 1 damage. So now let's take a look at all the other cards that we get that aren't character cards. The action cards and flip cards. So we have Cycling Light for Chaos. Feel free to read that. Nice picture with Shun right there for Aquos. Counter Pyrus. 
There's Cease Outsiders, another flip card for Darkus. And Lightning Embers for Pyrus. Wow, that's a really uh, pick of... Look at that, that's Nilius basically burning in flames. And then another flip card, Sowing Seeds for Ventus. Here are the Baku cores. You get 10 of them, two for each Bakugan, and they correspond with the character card. You have three green fists, three flaming fists, three helixes, and one shield. And here are the backs of the cores. You guys can just take a look at them and see if they're of any value. So that's pretty much it for this Auralis Garganoid Ultra and Darkest Hydorus Ultra 5-pack. And I would say that these Bakugan are pretty good. Uh, these two right here are extremely powerful, especially Hydorus. And yeah, the evolution might not be all that good, but it still looks really cool. And for a Darkest Brawler, it's still a great addition to the collection. If you're a fan of Dragonoid, you get Dragonoid in this. And this Trox in Pyrus is looking pretty good. And... So far, we are speculating, uh, us as meaning the Bakugan community, have speculated that the best Aquos Bakugan is actually this Fangzor, because Hyper Fangzor is just so critical for any Aquos player. But that's pretty much it. Before you guys ask in the comments, this is $30. So, yeah, $30 for a 5-pack. I say it's a pretty good value. There are three of them to choose from, but this is just one of them. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.